This is Marcus Corva with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and we're here in uh, Hermosa Beach, outside Patrick Malloy's. We first of all, I want to clarify this: Johnny Robles, right? John Robles, Robles. Because we had a, an, a discussion, I had a discussion yesterday with uh, Spencer Lazara from another media outlet. I can't remember the name of it, and uh, he said Robles is spelled Robles, but it's like, well, you don't say um, Kettler, you said Kettle. Robles, right? How did you pronounce your last name yourself? John Robles. Um, you know, so he was up, right. Growing up, I got called Robles, Robblebacher, anything under the sun. But yeah, John Robles, South Bay, California, out here in Patrick Malloy's Hermosa Beach. And you work at Patrick Malloy's, correct? I do. I have a great relationship with Patrick Malloy's. Uh, they support my, my job and, and, and my fighting and they're just a great sponsor. So uh, I, I got to say thank you to them. They, they definitely help out a lot. They don't mind you being in there working and, and having a black eye or a cut over your eye or... They support any and everything I do, man. They're, uh, they're great. So I, I can't complain at all. And what's going on here today? Uh, today we're here supporting the Next Contender Foundation. They are uh, a foundation nonprofit that supports underprivileged youth, kids with autism, special needs. Um, it gives them a chance through athletics and martial arts training. They take care of all their equipment, their training, they have scholarships. It's, it's just a great foundation. I was introduced to them by a good friend, Clay Guida. Um, it, anything I can do to help uh, give back to the sport and kids that need opportunities, uh, this sport has been great to me, so anything I can do to give back, is, it's great to be a part of. Uh, so for those that uh, don't know, you, you are a professional fighter. Yes. You're 5-1. Five 5-1. And, one. Five and, one. and you're fighting on August 18th. August 18th, Hollywood Park Casino. It's, uh, my What's next the name of the organization? Uh, Pandemonium Fights. It's the next chance to kind of redeem my last fight. Uh, it was a good fight, tough fight, good opponent, but uh, I didn't get the win. So here we are, August 18th, taking on Juan Rivas. And it's going to be a chance to uh, put on another good show and... And, and definitely show what I've, I've grown and, and learned over the past few months and years and just this sport in general. And, and a 5-1 five, five record is good in mixed martial arts. How many fights do you think you are from the UFC? Um, you know, with this sport, I've kind of realized anything can happen at any moment. So um, I'm just going to do my job and put on a good show. And, you know, I, I'm sorry to say it, but Juan, it's, it's my time. So uh, you're, just, you're in my way, and I'm going to do what I can to get by you. So it could happen any moment. We'll see what happens. And... Five and one's good, but ten and one's better. And that's the goal? To work towards that? Or, and the, just wait for the phone call? The goal is just to be exciting and do my job and grow and, and become an athlete and just uh, a good product. So, yeah, that's and, definitely the goal. And today you kind of work as a, as a promote, promoter for this whole thing. You're the kind of, the, the links is in the middle for this network. You're, you work at Patrick Malloy's. It's a fundraiser for these uh, underprivileged children. And there's a couple of UFC fighters who are here today. Who's there? You said Clay Guida. Clay Guida. Um, Jake Ellenberger just walked up. You got Marcus Kowal. Not only is he good looking and uh, funny, but he can fight. It's crazy. Um, you know what I think it is? It's just more people helping people. And that's kind of what this world is about. Relationships. And, you know, I'm just supporting my friends. They support me. And Patrick Malloy, same thing. They, they support me. So I, I do anything I can to help them out. So it's people helping people, you know? Is it hard to work at a place such as Patrick Malloy's while you're dieting? You got two weeks to fight. You know what? It, it could be tough, um, but it's it's all about the end goal, and that's getting the win and, and putting on a good show, and that's my job. I think uh, making weight and stuff like that, it's tough, but it, it's part of your job, and that's what we do. So if you don't do your job, you get fired. And Clay and you are good friends. You're kind of the connection between Clay, Clay being down here, who's also part of the foundation. How do you and Clay Guida know each other? I actually met Clay Guida through uh, a friend, Billy Billy Davidson. He's a local South Bay transplant from Chicago. They grew up together, and you know, it's just the way the world works. Sometimes uh, we hit it off. We're good friends, and it, it's crazy. We just have a lot of the same similar interests, and it's it is what it is, man. We're, we're great friends, and here we are. Would you consider him a role model? Um, he's definitely like a big brother to me. You know, he helps me in any way he can, and. It's yeah, he's definitely a, a role model, a big brother, and I couldn't thank him and a lot of people that just are supportive of me enough. So thank you guys. And uh, with with Clay, you know, people know him as a fighter. He's in people's faces, and it's crazy, and the hair, and everything else. How's Clay Guida as a friend, personally, when the cameras are off him, like right now? Um, when the cameras are off him, man, I, I hear it all the time. People always say he's humble, he's down to earth, and he's that's kind of I think why we get along is just. We come from good backgrounds, good families. He's a Midwest kid and a hard worker. And, you know, good people around good people. You, you surround yourself with good people, and it just it goes from there. 
and, and you've got great support from Patrick Malaris, which is obviously where you work as well, one of your sponsors. Um, but how important do you think mixed martial arts or martial arts in general are for children? Children and, and, and everyone involved. It's, it's changed my life. It's given me a discipline. Um, it's given me a goal, a, a path. So I, I think it's great for the kids, especially now that the sports kind of, it's not just fighting anymore. It's, you've got athletes, you've got, it, it, it involves so many different people. It, it's great for the sport and it's great for the kids. So August 18th, make sure you don't miss John Robles, Robles, sorry Spencer Lazara, you were right, um, at the Hollywood Park Casino, Casino taking on Juan Rivas. And this is for Pandemonium Fighting. August 18th. Make sure you're there. Watch it. And uh, there's going to be a great night of fights. They got some really good fighters, up and coming fighters on that card. Make sure you check out this non profit 501c3 called uh, Next Contender Foundation. Like oh, I said, oh. it's helping out the kids, um, you know, underprivileged kids, just giving them a chance to uh, expand their horizons and, and get after goals. And, you know, it's a great thing. So check it out. Make sure you follow John Robles as well on Twitter. His Twitter account is? John Robles, at John Robles 23. Check it out. What's Appreciate 20, the support, guys. What's the 23 for? It's just a number that kind of stuck with me. And, you know, it's one of those things. It just, it happened. It stuck to me. And here we are. Same with me. I stuck at 23 years old. And that's how old I am today. Johnny, thank you very much. Thank you. Make sure you check it out. Thank you.